have to go out this way. So, um, yeah, we're really excited about what we're able to accomplish. There's just seven days ago, we sat down as a group of volunteers, you know, works together here at the organization um, that uh, set out a mission to help support those in Texas that were devastated and impacted by the storm, uh, by the flooding, you know, from, from Hurricane Harvin. Um, you know, we, we have an office down there. We have roughly 50 employees or so, uh, some of which, um, a few of them were impacted by the storm. Um, many of our employees up here have relatives that live in, in Texas as well that were impacted. So we knew uh, it was our calling. We knew that we needed to step up and help you know, the community down there. And so we set out a mission seven days ago to um, communicate to to others in the surrounding areas that we're going to be uh, collecting donations and, and sending them down to Houston. And we set out with an original goal to, to raise, um, to fill one trailer that quickly turned into two and ended up being five trailers that just left today um, destined for Texas. For the and we're year. still relatively early in the month and you are doing collections to the end of the month. Correct. Our original goal was that we would eventually fill the four trailers by the end of September and, um, you know, with the idea of sending one truck maybe per week, uh, but it turned out that within the first seven days that we had five trailers filled and we continuously receive phone calls, uh, donations are still being dropped off. Um, so we we feel that there's still going to be a need to continue sending product down to Houston. 299, so uh, you guys should be fine with that. Um, you can go to the way stations or whatever, just abide by all the laws once you get out of the state. Uh, who's going to be the lead track and trailer? Basically, just follow the triple. Just try and keep it as tight as possible. If somebody jumps in between us, it is what it is. What lights on Route 130? Yeah. Lights. Okay. Yeah. We'll get, we want, we're going to go slow and steady. Right. But I think lights, just given the weather and the fact that people don't pay attention anyway, but this gives us a little bit of a better chance. Okay. Um, we'll take that jug handle right at the parking ride. Air 130, take that over for 32 right to the turnpike. Um, we are going to stop traffic so we can all get on to the turnpike lights. together. We're going to take the truck lanes, make our way to the left lane, 60 all the way down to exit 6, and we'll exit to the uh, PA bridge. Um, again, we're just going to take our time. Hopefully, the weather will hold up. But it starts raining, we can maybe slow it down a little bit more. But it's, you know, we all want to get there safe. So, uh, for the intersection leading up to the uh, turnpike, we're all sticking together to you know, block the intersection. Correct. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so basically, okay. he follows the trooper, whoever's behind him follows him, and yeah. everybody yeah. goes. We're going to go nice, nice and train. slow, go through those intersections while making sure the traffic stop, and not, you know, we won't wind right through. So, good. We'll have a guy jumping up ahead, Tanner will help as well. So, our brothers will uh, help us out. So, yeah, we'll get there and get on the bike. And what kind of things have you seen coming in? So we see all different kinds of things. Um, you know, right now, what's important for us is to make sure that we understand what the community in Texas is looking for. Um, you know, anything from uh, water to uh, you know, uh, food, uh, new clothing items, uh, diapers for babies, diapers for adults, um, building supplies. We understand that you know after everyone you know, cleans up their house, there's going to be a, a huge need to uh, you know rebuild their homes that's been impacted and devastated. So uh, building supplies is a need for, for many in Texas as well. And, and now we have, um, we have in, in the Atlantic, we have Hurricane Irma coming up from Florida. Uh, is there any, any chance you may do some aid down there if the need arises? Seems how you, have, you kind of have the logistics of this almost. Sure. You know, it's, it's funny, yesterday on the, on the way home from work, I, I called one of the gentlemen, uh, Paul Gagani, who's been, you know, a huge help. Uh, Paul works here at this organization, and, you know, it's really been, you know, the individual um, helping to uh, logistically, you know, uh, bring the product in here as the product's coming in here and setting it into certain boxes and putting them on pallets and to make sure that we're organized. And I said to him, I said last night, I said, the one thing that we've, we're going to learn real quick is how to become experts at at uh, raising relief uh, don't, you know, funds you know, for, for those that are impacted by storms, as well as the whole logistics and supply chain of being able to deliver that product uh, immediately you know, after the storm. So we're really excited about what we're able to accomplish and I'm really impressed with how quick and how efficient and, and fast we're able to do what we're able to do. 
What do you think it says about the community, not only that Herman is in, in here in New Jersey, but the response that you've gotten in such a quick time frame? Sure. Yeah, it's amazing to see people step up to the challenge, you know, people wanting to reach out and help others that were impacted. You know, here we are roughly 1,600 miles away from, from those that were impacted by the storm. And uh, just to see the thousands of people that are responding to our campaign, our mission to help those in Texas, is it's touching. It, it really is to see that so many people um, who may not have any direct relationship with anybody in Texas that may be impacted, willing to take time to buy supplies or to take supplies from their home, um, bring them here to our location, knowing that they're going to go down to those in need. Uh, it really is amazing. Um, and hearing stories from you know, some of our employees and some of our relatives in, in Texas, it's great to see you know, just millions of people down there that weren't impacted uh, helping a neighbor, you know, helping someone in need. Yeah, I was a member with the Jersey City Medical Center as an EMT for 9-11, and I saw the outpouring of support from the local community, state, and the federal, um, the, the government, and, and really all surrounding states that gave to the victims of 9-11. And I was also a fireman for her, uh, Superstorm Sandy. And again, the outpouring of support from the local, state, and federal um, communities is just, it was um, really astounding to see it. And when Hurricane Harvey hit the southeast, uh, Texas and Louisiana area, my brother and I um, didn't bat an eye at offering our logistics. Uh, a lot of people in Northeast wanted to give back because of Superstorm Sandy, but they really didn't have the logistics to get their product from Jersey, the Jersey area, down to the Houston area. So my brother and I stepped in, and it was such a proud moment this morning to see all those five trucks. Um, a thank you to the state police and the South Brunswick Police Department for helping our units get to the state line and um, Pennsylvania State Police as well and we'll get down there and make those deliveries in a safe and sound manner but it was definitely a heartwarming felt that I had seeing those trucks go down Route 130. As someone who knows the first responder side of things and like you said you you, you were there for Hurricane Sandy can you tell our, 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 our readers and viewers what it's like to be on that end of it. What are those victims going through? I mean, obviously the storms are different, you know, different natures and things, but what, what are the people probably going through down there that make this so important, what you guys have just done? It's, it's disbelief when, when you walk into your house and it's six or eight feet underwater. I know down there, a lot of the, uh, you know, like the, the hot water heaters and stuff like that, the pilots went out, so then the gas was flowing and then there's an ignition source, so not only did the houses flood, but a lot of the homes also burned down as well. So it was a double impact for a lot of the families down there. The death hole is over 50 now, um, and, and to see the relief from the Northeast coming into the Southeast, it, it's like a huge weight was lifted off them to see the supplies coming in, and not only for the victims as well, but the animals uh, were sending a load of hay and, and food for the animals as well down there. That, a lot of those uh, areas were affected as well. But in terms of the, the victims, um, it's, it's really heartwarming to see that through it all, that we can all come together as, as one community and help one. When someone's down, the United States really puts their arm out and, and we lift everyone up together. You know, from the bottom of my heart and, and you know, for everyone here at the, at the Herman organization, Herman Cares, we sincerely appreciate everyone willing to step up and, and support our cause and our mission and you know from me to you it's a special thanks to everybody um, to, to show their support and to come out and help us uh, it means a lot to both uh, myself as well as the organization take they, those they, loads yeah they volunteered to go um, you know and some and, and many many of the drivers the five drivers that are leaving out uh, you know we, stepped up to the opportunity the moment that they heard that our organization was going to provide relief aid. Uh, so many volunteered, so many stepped up and said, I would love to have the opportunity to be part of this, uh, this mission. Uh, you know, if, if there's an opportunity, I would love to be one of the drivers to uh, take the relief aid and put it into use. And all five of them personally thanked uh, myself for the opportunity to be part of this. And, 